You're most welcome. Uh, I request that uh, you listen carefully and take note of all that you are going to say. Thank you. Avistas, you're most welcome. The floor is yours. Uh, thank you so much for having given us your time and uh, we are very glad that you came. Uh, we are so much hopeful that you are going to learn so much from us and uh, before you is a team of health workers and the gender I came to talk to you for about malaria but before we proceed on with uh, whatever we prepared for you. Uh, I have questions for you. Yeah. Uh, the questions I have are these. What causes malaria? And how can we prevent malaria? So, I wish to get the answer from you people before I proceed on the tomorrow's According to me, malaria is caused by the parasite which is called plasmodium which is spread by female anopheles mosquito. Uh, thank you so much. I believe she gave the rightful answer. Uh, and in that regard, I want to thank you so much. Uh, you need to share some of this information with your colleagues also. So can I get the answer to the other question? I don't think uh, I understand this language so well. Yes, I understand that. What she was asking was that uh, is, are there two species of uh, mosquito? Because long time ago, mosquito used to eat them, but they used not to get malaria. But these days, a small bite of mosquito, they have malaria. Thank you so much, Mama. Uh, I think I need to break it into simple terms for you basically yeah there are different species and different uh, type of mosquitoes but to be specific the mosquito that spreads this plasmodium parasite is uh, what my sister just said is the female anopheles mosquito not every mosquito that bites you spreads malaria it is the female anopheles mosquito that spreads this plasmodium parasite that causes the malaria so I guess I've answered that. Maybe you will help me and tell her what I've <coughs> said because I don't believe if she has understood. Mom, your mom, malaria, the answer is that mom is using it. Mom is here. And it's not that God gave the answer malaria. Oh, that was just in the name of our Lord. And yeah. Uh, I want to thank you so much for your answers and I've been pretty assured that you at least know something about malaria but I'd wish to tell you more about malaria. Uh, malaria is caused by a plasmodium parasite that is transmitted through a female anopheles mosquito. So how do these mosquitoes come about? These mosquitoes come about due to us having poor sanitation, if I may say having boozy areas, having filthy compounds where we have empty containers that can hold water that provides breathing space for these mosquitoes. But 
because we have these simple causes, we have these simple things that give rise to youth hospitals. How do we prevent it? By having good sanitation, uh, flushing around boosty areas, and keep our compound clean from filthy containers that can hold water. We can prevent this, and we can prevent it as well by draining all stagnant water that provides the breathing space for these hospitals. So my colleagues here will come and guide you more about uh, how we can prevent malaria. So I want to thank you so much for attending this session. Thank you so much. Good morning, members. Dr. Ethan, my colleague, I feel Dr. Lawn, and I'm not going to repeat what they have already said. I just want to tell you that malaria kills, and there are many people who are hospitalized from this disease, and some of them. Some died of this same disease. Due to the increase, the government came up with some measures. First of it is provision of free medication. Secondly, provision of free treated mosquito nets. And the only measure I'm going to talk about is the use of the mosquito nets. And I'm going to hand over some mosquito net to the L1 of the community. Mama Papa Madi, come and wait. What are you? What are you, Tima? Hero Gadi. Ali, what are you, Tima? Hero Gadi. Mama Papa Madi, come and wait. 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 Come Thank you for your time. Let's uh, once again thank you very much. Uh, I think we have heard all from them. Uh, once again, I would like to say thank you very much for coming. And then, my dear visitors, I thank you very much for the information you have given. Uh, I think my community right now they have gotten the information you have passed out. Uh, especially mommy here, she wasn't speaking uh, because we are all using English but I think uh, among my members there are those who have translated to her and she has picked at least from this thing and she has now learnt a lot. Uh, I think she will be able to apply whatever information she has had from you people. Thank you very much. Thank you once again. Look, man. If the government is involved like this, many will be serious. It is for our own good. Try not to make any mistakes. My uncle, let me tell you, my great grandfather, my grandfather, my father, me, my children, you have not been using these nets. Okay, now what are you going to do with it? If that is the case. Uh, for me, the reason why I came is because uh, my chicks have just hatched, and these days uh, that is my biggest source of no, stop stop thinking in all the ways. The things will happen during our ancestors' period. We have to change. I am so let Go and use it. Let me be. It's for our own benefit. Me, I'm going to have a drink. You mind joining? Okay, me. you come and realize. You realize. Yeah. Okay, let's check it. Tata John. Yes. John is very sick. You need to take him for treatment. I think so I don't have money right now. What can we do? He's very sick. We need to help him out. 
different from local hub. Please, we need to take him for treatment. Uh, this must be a spiritual problem. Take him to a witch doctor. A witch doctor? You know I'm not good at that. Please, what can I do? Let's take him. Get up, John. So heavy, heavy. I think the ancestral spirits are disturbing him. <laughs> My son! Yes, great one. Someone is bewitching your son. This mean you need to bring a green chicken and a yellow goat for your son to be okay. <laughs>
here. Here is some medicine. Take it and give it to him in every evening. Thank you. It will help you. Thank you. Thank you. Go. Go. Your son will be okay. Go. You're welcome, Janet. Thank you, my sister. But you don't look for him. Yeah, my son what is, is dying. He ah. is very sick. Oh, sorry. But did you take him to the hospital? My sister, we don't have money for the bills. Money for the bills? My dear sister, the government is providing free medication in the hospital. Are you for real? Yeah, let's take him to the hospital. Help me, my dear. My son is dying. He's the only child I have. That is not what I want. Let's start going right now to the hospital. This boy really needs to be attended to. body like he needs to take enough fluid for him to, to recover quickly so when you take him home you need to take good care of him okay yeah yeah as long as you give him the fluid and uh, if you were to delay like for two or three days it was going to be very hard for me to say this like but lucky enough you brought him on time it's okay, doctor. Please, you need to go and take good care of him. Uh, uh, but uh, that will be up for him recovering for now. Let him yet be here. When it's time to discharge him, I will tell you and you take him home. I request you need to take good care of him. Okay, and following my different But remember, malaria is very serious and if it kills, she has the highest killing cases in Uganda. And we can prevent it. And how can we prevent it? One, we can use mosquito net as instructed. Slash around your compound when it is loose, drain stagnant water to prevent breeding. And avoid self-medication. Visit proper health facilities for better treatment. <laughs> 
if cases, cosine and symptoms of malaria arises. Avoid witchcraft. Thank you very much for following my film. Please subscribe. I repeat, subscribe. And call your friend to your society. Together we can. Call it Tandarua, call it T, A, E, S, it. Tifo, call it, 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 call it